How are we going guys? The Loot Gamer over here and welcome to another episode of Really Cool Gaming Loot. Over here people, we got Ghost of Toshima's Collector's Edition. I want to kind of show you guys all the really cool details of this. And all I can tell you for this is I am so, so excited over here. As you guys saw my last unboxing, that was The Last of Us Part 2 and I was absolutely stoked. Today I want to kind of show you guys my second most anticipated game of 2020. Sit back, relax, and let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this collector's edition. Having a look at the packaging over here, fellas, I am really, really happy, man. We have main protagonists at the front over there. Really loving the way Ghost of Toshima actually looks like, and I am just so excited, man. As you guys know, I unbox many things on my channel, but this is really epic. As we can see, this is from Sucker Punch at the bottom over there. Really nice handwriting there, Ghost of Tsushima. Of course, MA15, PlayStation 4 on top. Only on PlayStation. Touch wood, this will come to PC sometime. We have PlayStation 4, Ghost of Tsushima's Collector's Edition. At the back over here, all the juicy contents. So what do we grab? As you can see, a whole lot of loot here. We grab ourselves the following. A custom steelbook with Ghost of Tsushima's game. The Sakai mask, the lovely war banner as well, the wrapped cloth, an Island of Toshima 48 page art book, and also the director's commentary as well, and also digital contents included. So, for my assumption, we will be grabbing ourselves a really awesome horse there and some really nice goodies that I'll kind of put a description of on the video right now so you guys can actually see. But this is looking absolutely awesome. This is a pretty expensive collector's edition, fellas. This was 299, 300 bucks for this collector's edition. So let's open this up right now and kind of see exactly what we can expect. All right, fellas, this is the moment of truth over here. Let me sort of open this up nice and slowly. I do not want to ruin this box because this is something that's going to be very elegant in my new collection. So as we can kind of see over here, fellas, this has this really nice sort of sign there. As we can see the nice black with the red, what I'll do right now is I'll probably just sort of slide this nice and slowly. I do not want to ruin this packaging. Beautiful. That's all done as we can see. Nicely crafted jam. As we can kind of see over here at the box over here, Ghost of Tsushima looking really beautiful. Really loving the gold they put there and this lovely handwriting. We, we, can, we can even feel when it says Ghost over here. So pretty elegant. On the side over here, it's nice and plain. At the back just plain black at the top over here just plain as well so let's kind of slide this open maybe like this and kind of see how this will actually look like so the top is off next thing over here of course as we can see we got ourselves a really elegant looking clock but what i'll do now i'll kind of show you guys now is the game so we can kind of see over here ghost of tushima looking really really beautiful let me sort of grab my knife right now. Alrighty, man, the knife is cut all nice and slowly. Let me sort of just take this off. And oh, 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 oh man. Woo, have a look at that silver case. Have a, have a look at that shimmer, fellas. Have a look at that beautiful pattern at the bottom over there. Ghost of Tushima. We can even see an image there of him, as you guys can see. Really, really beautiful. I am loving this. At the side over here, Ghost of Tushima, as y'all can see. The back over here from Sucker Punch, we can even see that bit of imagery there. The really nice sort of design. Let's, let's kind of open this up now. So of course over here, I grabbed myself the special edition code, which is nice to see. Put that one to the side. And of course from the inside over here, it looks really nice as we can see. Really beautiful. And have a look at how beautiful the inside of this case looks like. Because you guys know me. I love all kinds of artistry and this is so nice. Let me open this up here. Yeah? So we can see nice. Is this just clean? Yes, it is. Nice and spotless. Let me place that right over there. This is looking so beautiful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but this is a definite, definite winner for me. Let me place that bad boy to the side over there. What's the next thing that we grab in this box? So in the bottom over here, we can kind of see, whoops, let me pick that up. We grab ourselves another code over here. This, this code over here is the collector's edition code, which includes the dynamic theme, which is nice. I'll put that one to the side. Next over here, of course, is this beautiful looking art book, The Art of the Ghost of Tsushima. 
sit back, fellas, and let's relax and let's go through this book together. So yeah, we have it, fellas, The Art of Ghost of Tsushima. Really beautiful, really loving how plain and minimalistic it looks like. At the side over here, we can see The Art of Ghost of Tsushima by Dark Horse. The back over here has some more beautiful looking artistry. So let's open this up together and kind of see what we can expect here. Really loving this artistry in the front. It looks so beautiful. The Art of Ghost of Tsushima. Opening it up here, as we can see, from the publisher, Mike Richards, and so on. Looking really, really nice. Loving the artwork, fellas. This is the temple, the R the RK temple. Different sorts of environments in the game. So spoiler alert in case you guys don't want to see this, but this is looking gorgeous. So nice. Let's go to the next page over here. Azamo, and this next place is called the Farmsteads. Looking really cool. Excuse the glare, fellas. Let me make it like that so you guys can see. This over here is the Ishoi. I can't pronounce his name, so excuse my pronunciation. But we can see this is a really nice open world game with so many places to explore. And I'm definitely going to be doing that tonight. No sleep. I'm actually playing Dead Stranding on PC and I think I'll be playing this instead. This is so epic, man. Look at all these environments. Really, really nice. Let me know in the comments below whether you guys are thinking of getting the collectors or have you guys got the collectors? What's your perspective on the game? Look at this. We've got Kinovia. So beautiful. Different kinds of atmospheres, even in snow. Jodaku Temple, Sago Temple as well. We got the Mongol camp, Mongol tent. We got Jin over here with all these different types of armor sets. You guys know me, I am an armor set whore. I absolutely love loot and different kinds of armor sets. You can see his mask over there, which I'll show you guys in just a bit. More kinds of outfits, as, as, as y'all can see. This is looking so cool. Really loving the artistry here. Ah, look at that one. That one looks dope. They all look dope. Shimaru is over here as well, as we can see him. Ooh, look at that sword. Ooh, ooh man. I would actually love to collect samurai swords. It must be super expensive. Look at that sort of armor set there. Pretty dope. We got Yuna. I wonder who she is. I guess we will probably find out. Masako as well. Your companions in the game probably. Really loving the way Dark Horse put this together. Kenji. Love that. Look at how beautiful this artwork looks, fellas. This is an understatement to say it looks beautiful. It looks really good. Ishikawa, Ishikawa, I think that's probably how you say his name over here. Kaede and Tomo. We got Kotan Khan, we got Mongol warrior. All these different kinds of warriors over here we could see. So this guy over here, I'm assuming he must be a, one of the hardest to fight. He has all that armor. But yeah, all the different kinds of baddies that we'll be encountering as well. And I love these weapons. Look at that. Saya. So freaking awesome. And some more weapons over here. I'll probably make it a mission for me to collect everything in this game. Let me know in the comments below whether you guys want to see some gameplay. Because I'm thinking of streaming this game as soon as I finish this video for y'all. But this is looking pretty dope, man. Legend of... Tadayori. Tadayori. And that's the last page over there. So, so 48 pages, fellas. A really beautiful looking book. The Art of Ghost of Tsushima. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So I'll place that one over here to the side over here to, to sort of balance it out. Look at how beautiful this set looks like. The next thing over here, fellas, is this really nice looking cloth, as, as you guys can see, this beautiful black cloth. And what I'll probably do 
is maybe just sort of move it like this. Maybe move this box out if I can. Beautiful, just like that. And over here is just an empty box. I'm assuming that's just part of the box and the packaging. This is also empty. This sort of falls part of it too. I'll put that one to the side. The rest of the box over here, guys, is empty, as, as y'all can see. So we want to obviously check out what's inside this glorious looking empty box over here. Let's sort of open this up. Which way do I open? Probably from this way. Let's kind of see what's inside here. And we get this really nice looking cloth. And ho, 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 look at that. Let's put this box to the side. I'm having a look at this cloth here. I don't even open it, but I have to. Because I'm a collector and I want to kind of show you guys what you get. But inside here is a really epic cloth and it kind of shows you inside this pamphlet what it is. So this kind of shows you how they actually put together the mask, as you guys can see here. Um, it also has a stand and also a mask, which I'll probably be putting on top of my PC. Really nice instructions. Let's place that to the side. And this over here is the stand, of course, as you guys can see, Ghost of Tsushima. Let me kind of show you guys that now. If I can get this off, because it is really taped in. Really hard to take off. <laughs> All right, that's down to the side. So you can kind of see here, guys, Ghost of Tsushima, Sony Interactive Entertainment. Mine actually got scratched, which is kind of strange. Wow. Hopefully yours doesn't. But on this side over here, as we can see, Ghost of Tsushima, a nice plastic cover. Kind of hope they made it a bit more premium, like a metal or something, because we are paying quite a bit, but it is what it is. Place that to the ground. And over here, we grab ourselves a really nice looking cloth. Have a look at this cloth. Wow. Pretty big. I probably won't show you the whole thing, but you guys can actually see, this is the cloth here. I don't think there's any more images inside the cloth. As I can see, it's just one kind of pattern. That does look really nice. Really, really nice. Made out of a nice cotton, I'm assuming. Let's kind of look here and see on the fabric. So all it says is made in China. Doesn't really tell you what it's made out of. Oh yeah, there we go. So it's 50% cotton and 50% polyester in case you guys are wondering. So really nice cloth there. I'll place that one to the side. Over here, we get ourselves a really epic looking cloth. And oh man, this looks cool. Oh, it smells very nice and fresh too. Look at that. Wow, it's really big. And I hope you guys could see it. But I'll probably, yeah, there we go. Y'all can see it nice. So we get this really nice looking sign over here. Really nice and industrial looking. Really, really, really beautiful. What I'll do now is I'll sort of zoom out so, so you guys can actually see what, what I could see. Let me sort of zoom out. There you go. You guys can kind of see that. Have a look at that. That looks so nice. Even the tips of the cloth as well are looking very nice. Look at that, like very, you know, samurai-like. Really beautiful. Let me know what you guys think at the comments below. So what I'll do is I'll probably just fold this nice and neatly and prepare it for later. Now this is some really epic loot. The next piece of loot we grab over here, guys, is another cloth. And this one looks so nice. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. Look at that. Wow. This is something you definitely want to maybe, maybe even put on your wall, you know? I'm really loving the gold and the white. It just looks so damn nice. So beautiful. Even the Ghost of Tsushima, as you guys can see on the side. So beautiful. And on the other side, this is plain. I like the fact that it actually overlocked. And this is made out of a 44% um, cotton and about 39% polyester. So we know this is good quality. The stitching, honestly, guys, a bit disappointing. Yeah, as we can see, the stitching is coming off. I kind of wish they were a bit more careful with their products. But overall, it does look very nice. Let me kind of fold that nice and neatly. And I'll sort that out a bit later. But of course, the star of, of the show, fellas, is inside this box over here, which has the mask. Let's check this out right now. Alrighty, I'm loving the way this box looks like. As we can see, a really nice image at the front there with a kind of consistent kind of pattern on top as per the steelbook case. 
on the side just plain and the back just plain as well. So let me kind of open this up slowly for you guys. So this is where we open it. And inside here is where we find the mask. You have to be careful. I don't want to drop this. Beautiful. Place that box to the side. And let me kind of um, get my trusty knife to actually cut this open. All right, all cut nicely, fellas. Let me kind of slide this out. As y'all can see, the mask just came off. And yeah, we have it, fellas. The mask in its glory, all wrapped up here. Yeah, let me take out all that plastic off. And this is the mask. And get ready, fellas, because I want to show you this. For the first time and oh, 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 oh man oh man have a look at that i am really loving the way this feels nice and heavy it's got a nice sort of weight to it as well and i'll even show you guys how this looks like on me but having a look at the detail in this mask fellas this is beautiful a really nice sort of cosplay thing to wear especially if y'all are massive fans loving the grooves and has a bit of a nice sort of maroon sort of tint to it as well, especially on the creases of the mask. The gold teeth, really nice and sharp. So damn beautiful. Even over here too, from the inside here, as we can see, it's got this really beautiful, hot red. Really, really nice. Wow. Let me show you guys the front again. Have a look at that. Wow, I thank God that he's given me the opportunity to unbox these for you guys. But I would definitely recommend this collector's edition. It is beautiful. What I'll do now is I'll probably put on my face and kind of show you guys how it looks like on a one-to-one -one scale. All right, fellas, here I am and check this out. Isn't that cool? This kind of reminds me of Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> but have a look at this. One to one scale on someone's face. It fits absolutely perfectly. I have a pretty wide face. And if you guys wanted to see how that would fit your face, it'll fit your face perfectly. I kind of wish they were like ribbons or something. But I'm assuming this isn't really designed to be worn, but more displayed. But have a look at that. Even underneath as well the side this is what i call dope loot that's why they call me the loot gamer haha <laughs> and the last thing over here of course is the lovely stand that sort of puts it all together which is right over there so what i'll do right now is i'll attach this to my lovely mask and kind of show you guys how that looks together so there we have it fellas the ghost of toshima collector's edition I am so, so happy to have collected this. 300 Australian dollars, I know it is a lot of money. It's not cheap at all. In the US, you guys will probably pay around 200 bucks. I know these are very expensive. I'm not getting sponsored at all. But all I could say is that if you guys are massive loot collectors, if you guys are massive, passionate gamers like myself, who have been doing this since you were kids, and you guys love samurai games, and are a massive fan of collecting I would definitely recommend collecting this. I thank God he gave me the ability to afford this stuff because not many people can, but if you guys can, go ahead and do it. If you guys can't, save up and get this because this over here is definitely amazing. One of my favorite collector's editions for 2020. One thing I do want to kind of show you guys about the mask because you guys can see it's actually on the stand. It's actually able to move the mask. Let me kind of show you guys this now. So you're actually able to tilt and move it which is so damn cool have a look at that so in case you guys wanted to you know look that way you can you can you could even do a full 360 which i reckon is pretty dope so that for me is kind of cool you know it would be nice if we had a figure but for me i really don't mind having a nice mask because the mask looks so damn cool let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys enjoyed give me a thumbs up and a subscribe because i want to make sure this channel grows so you guys can enjoy awesome looking collectibles. I am the Loot Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Deuces.